Dude. Nice cock. Thanks, dude. Oh. Colby? We good? We rolling? We're rolling, Colby. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, welcome to uh, K Love You Bye. I'm Colby. I'm Brandon. He's Randon. He's Colby. <laughs> I uh, meant to say Olby. Dude, cheap fucking booze. Yeah, it's the best. Well, first off, yeah, w- welcome again. Just yeah. say well. Thank you for uh, watching because we're pretty sweet once you get to know us, roughly. Yeah. You're a little spicy. You're a little spice. I could be spicy. Uh, dude, cheap booze. Yeah. This shit's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Admiral Nelson. Admiral Nelson. Let's start off with the old Admiral Nelson. Yeah, knock off a little Cap Morgan. Yeah, no, he's the Admiral. He's higher ranking, of course. <laughs> I don't know that Navy bullshit. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you also slept in cots with other men above and below you, right? I was racks. Thank oh, you very is much. That what they call them? Yep. Yeah, dude, it was like uh, I've always been a fan of Sailor Jerry's and yeah. Captain Morgan. And- Who also. Was a sailor. Yeah. Navy. Norman Sailor Jerry's Collins. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I got a tattoo. Of him? No, of uh, some of the work he's done. Mm. I'm planning on getting more. Some of that flash? Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a pen. I like the pin-up shit. Yeah. Pin so, up. Pin-up art's fucking my jam. Yeah. The old traditional. Old traditional. Pirate ship stuff. Yeah, like five years ago, dude, I ran across this shit. Admiral Nelson was like, it's like knockoff Captain Morgan. Mm-hmm. Way cheaper. Yeah. It's, when you drink as much booze as I do, <laughs> you got to save money a little somewhere, you know. You don't drink that much. What? Oh, is that what you said? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, so let's, that rolls me straight into this. <sighs> Fucking crazy. Jake. Jake. Oh, poor Jakey Poo. Poor fucking Jake. This this guy. And poor you. You dropped me off and then puked. Yeah, but I felt great. I thought you were way tougher than that. I felt great after. Dude, I drank a lot. It was, And I don't drink that much anymore. So All right, it's so just, should I set up the backstory to this? Well, let, yeah, me, set, let me set up the backstory. You kind of have to. So, our boss's son interned interned with us yeah. this summer and his last day at work with us was last friday and uh we decided well his dad decided to throw like a going away party for him and well he kind of threw it out there and we all just we jumped yes. oh we jumped on it immediately yeah. got to we got to kids getting ready to go to college first and year the fucking first year as a freshman at fucking iowa going yeah. to rotc he's Better gonna be your second year as a freshman He's going to be straight and narrow for the next four <laughs> years. Like, let's do it right. So we started talking about this party and we're going to get straight him, and narrow, get him fucked up. Right. That was the plan. That was the goal. Yeah. Like every party, get somebody fucked up. Uh, and he thought it would be a good idea. Hold on. Before we continue, do you think he'll show this, this part to his, his new Iowa buddies university oh, buddies oh definitely he's gonna be like, like that's me they're talking yeah well i you know after we after we finish some of these graphics, like, these dudes totally wrecked my butthole after we <laughs> after we show uh share some of the graphic details of how that night ended man he might not share it well maybe don't go yeah okay continue uh so he had the great the great idea to basically tell us me and Brandon, how experienced he is with drinking and how yeah. he can out drink all of his buddies. Mind you, this is an eighteen year old kid, just graduated college or high school. Uh and and how he can drink so much booze and, and he out drinks all of his friends. I don't doubt him time. that he can out drink his buddies. I bet he can. He probably can. He held his own he, pretty he, good. He had a head full of steam, you know, and it's probably because he, you know, he's out drinking his eighteen year old buddies. Yeah. Well, he decided to talk that shit to us, and uh, I almost feel like we shouldn't be talking about this because he's fuck it. All right, come get me. <laughs> come at me, come at bro. me, bro. Do you even? Bro- I don't, dude. Do you even, bro? I don't. I don't know what that. I don't, means. bro. What does that mean? It's like I don't know, it's like a gym thing, right? Oh, I guess yeah. that's what they say in the gym. Like, hey, bro. <laughs> Is that where it started? <laughs> 
No, it, it started it's, with it started in the navy when like <laughs> fuck when off. one navy guy would get up behind the next the next navy guy, he'd yeah. grab him by the hips in the shower and go, "Hey, bro." Yeah, That's that happens. Said. So Jake, he started talking shit, and we're like, "All right, Jake. Well, my 18 year old inner self is fucking laughing hysterically at the comment you just made about out drinking us." So we showed up with full intentions of putting this kid to bed before the sun went down. <laughs> He held his own pretty well. He did really good. Uh, I will say that for eighteen year old kid, he. I mean, I, I don't knew, think I, he did better than I would have done at eighteen. Yeah, me either. But he definitely, he definitely put up a good fight. Uh, and and I warned him. I said, dude, it's at some point tonight. I'm going to feed you a shot, or you're going to be fed a shotgun of a tall boy, yep. and you are going to take it. And immediately regret it. And you're going to go, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my point right here. This is where I projectile vomit everything <laughs> that I've drank up until this point. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. That's uh, exactly what happened. He took that shot, that last shot, and he looked at all of us and said, I'm going to puke. Uh, where we, we continued to walk him inside to the bathroom. He I got didn't down. He had another guy on the other arm. Yeah. He started puking in the toilet. His mom was there. Kind of embarrassing. His dad was there. Uh, puked outside of the toilet. <laughs> puked it's on kind him. of embarrassing about it. <laughs> puked on himself. Yeah. Did we, he? We, oh, yeah. Oh, he puked he all over himself. Yeah. We, we stripped him down butt naked and threw yeah. him to the bottom of the shower. Turned the water on. <laughs> <laughs> He's laying there like uh, he was bitching at his dad for giving him a small cock. <laughs> 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 He's like... He's like, God damn it. You couldn't have fucking made me a bigger one. <laughs> exact and I, words. And I wasn't there, but his dad did say that he's got a healthy cock. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. I, I think he's misconstrued on what healthy is. Well, well, which, hey, I mean, if you want to go off science or if you want to go off I know what personal health, I know what a healthy cock looks like. I definitely don't have one. Yeah. Um, he definitely doesn't. I think Jake's right there with me, though. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell was that? Uh, I think it was my chair. I thought or my there, ass. I thought there was a seepage. air horn Someone. going off outside. Someone mm -hmm. honking at you. Air raid. Because you know fucking everybody. Air raid. No. Should we get down? And hide. Yes. Dude, cheap booze is the fucking best. No, oh, back to that, huh? I just thought about taking a drink and I'm like, yeah. fucking cheap. Dude, this cheap booze tastes so good. Yeah, but Jake, yeah, he really he had it coming though. He was talking so much shit. Oh. He just he just just. I was, you know, I wasn't going to do anything at first, but you just, you just have to, it's a teaching moment. My, like, dude, my, my life lessons that I've, I've learned the best from are the ones I've learned the fucking hard way. Yeah. And that's one for him. He, he learned a life. He learned, learned it. He learned it. A life lesson <laughs> the fucking hard way. I wonder if he's going to, when he's in college, he's going to go and he's just going to fucking pound alcohol like crazy and everybody's like god damn this dude could drink he's dude, like yeah i learned it from some fucking military veterans because they drink their fucking asses off i hope so i hope we taught him something fucking great that night and we did i hope he goes to college and just destroys everybody at drinking and bangs a bunch of chicks and he chances are it won't be everybody because there's always somebody that's better oh, at dude, you always than you and it's always the guy that you least expect like yeah you know i'm, I'm trying to think of like a uh a night where like I drank against somebody thinking that I was just going to kill. Him. Oh yeah. So there was a night when I was, I was oh. still living in the dorms in the service. And, uh, it's funny. You call it dorms in the air force. Yeah. Yeah. You call it what racks? No, that's our bonks. beds. Bonks. We live in barracks. Oh, barracks. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's dude. That's, that's why people join the air force because, you get the fucking niceties. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I Dude, I even had a fucking crew bunk on the airplane when I went TDY. Yeah? Yeah. So special of you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it, oh, yeah. So I was in the dorms, right? And this, we used to party down in the gazebo. It was like an apartment building, more or less. So like They had like the doors on the outside of the building. 
And there was three floors tall, so like in the hallways with the doors, it's the same thing. It's just different name. Yeah, like you just you walk down the outsides hallways, and the doors are on the outside. And yeah, you walk in. Um, but in the center, it's like in an L shape, and then in the center, we had like day rooms and shit in the middle, and then like laundry was on the basement floor, and then there was like movie theater rooms and shit with like. <laughs> There's like no projector though. Move, yeah, but still, there was like chairs. Just the fact was, that you had a movie it theater was like, room. It was like they set it up to be a movie theater room. Uh huh. And then they were like, "Wait, what the fuck?" Are you we probably doing? got your own room too, huh? I had my own room, but you sh- like share a common area. There was area. like two rooms with a common area, and then you have a bathroom. A, a com- bathroom, yep. yeah. Also known as a, a common area, but they were separate. The common area. Yeah. What? Like yeah. That's how ours was. You walk in, it's the common area. You got the bathroom, kitchen, no, and the laundry room, and no. then you got two rooms on each side that separate. So like that- our, ours were, you walk into your your room. Okay. Like the door on the outside of the building leads you into your own individual room. Okay. And then you have a door that goes to the kitchen, but they also have a door that goes to the kitchen from their side. That's same weird. with the bathroom. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. And my dude, the roommate I had. Fucking weirdo. No, really? Oh, dude. Hardcore. Like, little... Dude, he was only, like, four foot nine. Mm -hmm. He used to wear, like, eyeliner and shit, like, on his time off. And and this cocksucker, right? He'd go to... He'd jump in the shower. He'd lock lock my bathroom door, right? No big deal. He don't want me to walk in there when he's showering. I can respect that. But the fucking motherfucker... Would go back into his room after he showered and leave my like fucking it. door to the bathroom locked. Yeah, probably accident. No, he used to do that shit on purpose. Why? I, dude, I don't know. I, I don't think he liked me, but every but I'd always leave my bathroom door open and I'd always leave my the kitchen door open because I'm like, yo, you know, I I'm friends with everybody. So if he was around, like, and he opened the door, I'm like, yo, what's up? You want to have a beer? Like, you want to hang out? Like, just be nice. Yeah. Never, ever hung out with this dude. He never fucking talked to me. He'd go in the kitchen, leave a mess, never clean the bathroom, and just weird as fuck. But every single time he heard a girl's voice in my in my room, that motherfucker would slam the kitchen door open, and he'd be all about hanging out. Oh, yeah. Just a fucking weirdo, man. <laughs> like, he'd come over, like... It was probably like this is my chance to it, fucking it meet a girl. Like, a and it real wasn't one. like we'd have people over. There'd be a couple girls. He'd hear them half hour later. He'd meander over to check it out. It was like the second he okay. heard a female voice, he was kicking that fucking door open. Like, hey man, what's happening? I'm like, haven't seen you in fucking four weeks. What? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Just come to check out the girls you got over here. I'm like the fuck out of here i got pretty lucky with roommates i had one he was in my shop which was lucky because i i fucking hate strangers because they're fucking weird usually like your fucking eyeliner pal yeah they like stare at your dick on accident yeah purpose accident accident when you're like showering yeah they like trip and fall and like their face gets pressed up against like the glass door in the shower right like, oh shit so dude, I am fucking so annoying sorry. Just... i accidentally fell and my face <laughs> went on the glass and i'm looking at your cock like not even looking just damn near sucking on dude fucking ask i'll show it to you <laughs> so you, you want to you're see not it? gonna like it <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be so disappointed <laughs> Like, have the fucking courtesy to just, you know, ask first. Yeah. I got pretty lucky, though. I had him. And then, um, God, I don't, I think from there, I, I think I moved to like, a, it's like an off, bake, uh, off base barracks. It's like basically like apartments. They're pretty fucking nice, to be honest. And me and my buddy, we actually put like petitioned or whatever, whatever we had to do to fucking room together. So we had a common area. It was nice. Common area. We had a balcony. Uh, you know, our own our own rooms with our own bathrooms, which was fucking sweet. Nice. Yeah. And then I fucked that up and met some girl. <laughs> and and fuck, out, every time it's always it never yeah. fucking fails. Never fails. You think back, you're like, a girl fucked that good time up. Yeah. 
No offense to any of our fans that are girls. Yeah, none. Girls yeah. are great. I, I mean, we both, I love we both got fantastic wives. Yeah. I mean, Ashley's fantastic. My wife, Jaden, is fan-fucking-tastic. Sure. I, I would never... You know, but girls suck. But girls suck. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But am I? But... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so this chick, so so we had this room. It was fucking part, like, if I could go back in time, I totally would have done things different and never fucking talked to this chick. But uh, so I, I went, like, basically, I had this room still. I stayed with her in her house where she lived with her parents, which was weird. And then I wasn't getting BH, and they're like, why don't you just move out of your, you know, just, you're here all the time anyway. And I wasn't living with them. At the time, there I was just staying there a lot because you know, because you know, and uh, you ever feel fat in your shirt? Yeah, every minute of yeah, every day. I feel fat in my shirt right now. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I interrupted. You. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh God, I don't even know what I was. Anyway, so yeah, 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 yeah so I basically were, fucked yeah. that up, and I, you know, I was there every day, and then I they talked me into like just moving in with them basically. So I did, and then I. It f- fucked it up. Never got back to those barracks again. I went to some shithole barracks. Banging old girl with her dad in the house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, stepdad. Ooh. Oh. So she had like the, the stepdaddy issues. Uh, no, that that wasn't a thing at the time. Pornhub made that a thing within the recent two years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not a thing. I, would, I wouldn't then. know. I don't watch, it might have been, I I don't watch Pornhub. Or, or you porn. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't it's literally on your favorites tab. I looked at your phone. Check it. You check it. History. Hashtag cleared. Yeah. Okay. Dude, you got have you ever ne- never heard of incognito mode? Dude, you, you don't even have to clear you your history. It does your, it for you. You can't have your kids accidentally fucking. You never heard of the Hillary safari. Clinton mode where it clears your history for you automatically? Oh, oh you fucking, don't oh, fucking Benghazi? What the fuck is that? Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't watch porn. I mean, look for, me in the eyes I, and tell me you don't watch porn. I don't, I don't watch porn. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Watching midgets on TikTok that counts as porn hey, when they're danced around half naked. Little people, Jesus Christ, whatever. Little people, fucking dude, they're ass. people too. And I think, I think, women, little people. And I, I don't want anyone to think like this is like me just talking about like a weird fetish thing. Like I think they're beautiful. Hmm. I do. I don't disagree. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just putting it out there that that's what's your your go your go to <laughs> on your Pornhub and or your TikTok. Okay, so I'm gonna tell a joke. Well, should, but should you? <laughs> should I? <laughs> What do you call a woman with no arms and no legs laying on a bed? Fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> oh, going to fucking hell. And, I, and if you have no arms and no legs, I That's, we don't fucking hate anybody here. Yeah. So right off the get-go, I want everybody to understand. Yeah, we, we, don't, gotta, we don't hate anybody. Nope. We, we literally love everybody if we fucking say something. But at here. the same time, we will literally joke about everybody. 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 We're going to make jokes. Everybody. Because if you can't make jokes, what the fuck is fun about <clears throat> life, But Right? Yeah, before I forget this, because do you know that Fox. that's actually a fetish <laughs> thing? That's, that's called... What's a fetish? That. It's called nugget porn. <laughs> nugget porn. That is so fucking. It's offensive. called nugget porn. It's so fe- offensive, but it's. I mean, it is. But it, honestly, if you, funny as fun. I'm sorry if you look at it. If you look at them on the bed, <laughs> they look like a fucking nugget. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not my thing, dude. But some when I was, I was so I was in I was in. <laughs> I was in training, and they're like, hey, check this fucking nugget porn out. Just Google nugget, <laughs> nugget porn or some shit. I was like, okay, I guess, yeah. The reason I laugh, I'm laughing right now is is because you're 100% correct. There, There is one guy in every fucking group of guys yeah. that has, at one point or another, pulled out their phone and said, dude, check this out. <laughs> yeah. It's nugget porn. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you're almost in disbelief that like it's a thing. It is a thing. But hey, you know what? 
Everybody has needs. I had everybody wants. I mean, think about it, right? If you had a big old fucking dick, yeah. if somebody asked you to do porn because they're like, hey, there's a market for big dicks in porn, what would you do? I mean, if I'm making a shit ton of money and I'm single and no kids and all that, sure. You're fucking doing porn, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if somebody ran up to you and you had no arms and no legs and they're like, hey, there's this new fucking hot commodity. It's called nugget porn. It's really offensive to you. But if you're down, we'll pay you a shit no ton offense, of money. No offense, but it's really offensive. Do porn and we're going to call it nugget porn. Right. Would you do it? I mean, I'm, I don't. I have arms and legs, so I can't really speak for speaking of big dicks. Did you see? I will not come to bed with you. Did you see the Tommy Lee photo? Oh, back to this, eh? Yes, I did manage to get my eyes on a said Tommy Lee photo, but I also wasn't very surprised because back in the day, I did watch the Pam and. Tommy Lee videotapes on VHS, mind you. And was it VHS? It, Pretty fucking certain it, it was on it VHS. Was VHS. Yeah. And uh, I remember seeing his fucking big old sling and danger there fucking railing the shit out of her then. So yeah. I wasn't very surprised. Well, which is surprising that people are surprised because how do you not know about Tommy Lee's gigantic fucking Well, I wasn't talking cock. about his cock. I was talking about how fit he is for being as old as he is. You took it. I fucking hate you. <laughs> so <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, if you see the picture, you obviously seen his cock. But yeah, I was talking about how in shape he is for being, yeah, for being an old guy. Sure, for sure. Dude, my wife texted me that picture. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna read it back just so everybody knows. Oh, please read it back. I'm gonna read it back. So <laughs> before you read it back, you know what you should do? <laughs> What's it? You should sensuous, because I'm dry. And in case nobody knows what that is, as sensuous as close to the fridge, you grab me a beer. <laughs> so stupid. It is not stupid. Oh, there's. Oh no, that was. So when you get a, when you're done, Bojangles. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll, hey, I'll get you in one sec here. Almost there. Jesus, my fucking wife texts me a lot. I feel like well, she she's sent your me this. wife, so I would assume. Holy yeah. fuck. Oh. Is it about everything uh, about the Tommy it is. Lee dick? There it is. Tommy Lee dick. She texts so much Dude. about the Tommy Lee dick. Dude, it was one time. Every morning. Well, I told you about it, but <laughs> like, I, so she sent me this every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I just can't stop thinking about Tommy Dude, Lee's she dick. She sent me this Tommy Lee dick picture. Dude, and that's a fucking healthy cock. That's a healthy cock. That is a like good for fucking Tommy Lee. Yeah. But I know we talked about this the other, well, a few days ago. Uh, a week ago. To a, be, a week ago. Actually, yeah. six days ago. And the whole celebrities with herpes thing. Yep. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, she, dude, she, so she texted me this picture, and it was the Twitter picture. Mm -hmm. She tagged me in it. And uh, her first words were, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's the first words that would come out of anybody's mouth for the first time seeing that shit. My response to Jesus Christ was... Please don't fuck Tommy Lee, and I hope you love my four-inch thunder pigeon. Oh, <laughs> uh, and she said, "Sorry, I gotta go with Tommy Lee." <laughs> she, she said, "She she put a bunch of like the laughing, like crying emojis." Yeah, and she goes, "That is way too fucking much." Yeah, and I said, "Is my four-inch thunder pigeon just just enough much?" <laughs> P.S. Tommy Lee has herpes. It's confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> PPS. Uh, and she never responded. So I'm I'm hoping that uh, the herpes comment was like enough to put her to, off to keep me around for a long, yeah. while longer. You may be okay. I'm, ho I but I wouldn't hold your breath because that that thing can rearrange some guts. Oh, dude! Yeah. Like, imagine being a woman. If he wasn't a musician, he'd be a porn star like, for sure. Okay, so. Imagine being a woman for a second, right? Mm -hmm. and, and imagine, like, that thing inside of you. Like, what area do you think that thing's going to bottom out at? Like, I'm guessing, like... Lower intestine. 
for sure. I'm guessing like appendix, mm. maybe like lower gut, like lower stomach. Maybe. Dude. That doesn't sound pleasant. Oh, no, man. Mm-mm. But I mean, if you're a chick that likes pain, like you get pleasure from pain, then yeah, I suppose that would be like your thing. That's why Tommy Lee, like, he's, he's single and he's available for you. <laughs> Is he single though? I, well, we'll have Probably to Google not. it. Not should, now, because those fucking women are swooning over that oh, fucking dude. Dick I bet you. This is like the new thing, like the Chris Evans cock that there was a Chris Chris Evans cock on uh, fucking dude, Twitter the, or whatever. So Didn't see it, but the picture of that that big black dude that was sitting on the bed, yeah, with the fucking the baby arm dangler. You know what I'm talking about? It like went viral, and they made like memes out of the whole fucking thing. <sighs> no, you don't. Oh, dude. I'm, let me pull it up. You're gonna pull up a picture of a, a giant, another giant cock. You want to show me more cock? Uh, dude, we probably should have had a counter for this I episode get, to I say gonna, see how many times I talk about cock. We said cock, dude. But I mean, you have to appreciate a good one when somebody's got a good one. Like you got to tip your fucking hat. You know what I mean? Hat. Like, good for you, man. Uh, how should I search this? Uh, I viral. Don't even fucking know. Big black cock, dude. You're gonna come up with like a billion fucking hits. Let's just go images. Let's see what images provide. Hey, you, I can't help but notice that you never got me that beer that you promised. Oh, dude, first one, first one. All right, hold on. That's impressive. All right, we're gonna time this out. It must be a don't super look, viral. Don't look. Don't look. I can't see f- from here. It's. It's at a weird angle. Don't look. I'm getting you beer. Okay. I don't know which one is yours. That one. <coughs> that one's mine's. That would be 475. 475. 475. And don't forget to tip your bartender. Yeah, I'll give you some tip. Let me guess. Just the tip? Just the tip. That's all you're getting. Where are you giving it? Where? Oh. Surprise. It's <laughs> three off. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Giant black cock. This picture. Jesus Christ. Do you remember this going viral? No. You don't? No. Dude. I would remember that. They made uh, outlet covers with this picture and the outlet like switch for turning lights on. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And it it was like memes and like people were doing all sorts of shit with it, right? I was listening to... uh, uh, who was I was I was listening to either it was either a podcast or like I was listening to like Bob and Tom or something. Um uh, but I heard the backstory on that picture, right? And this dude was like he was like down and out, struggling for money hard. Some dude was like, Hey, pose, I'll take some pictures and whatever. Those pictures are like fucking ten years old or some shit. Mm-hmm. The dude's not even alive anymore. He oh, like, really? He had like a massive like heart attack or something. Died like super young, and uh, it all went viral in the in the family. Which, dude, I feel for him. I mean, that picture goes viral of like your your deceased relative. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're like, what the fuck, you know? But it went like nuts. But apparently. Some of these, some some of these, I don't know if they're people or or organizations or something. They like put together like revenue, like sanctioned revenue, yeah, areas to like generate revenue from like his pictures, and like paid it back to the family and shit. Now after it went viral, well, what you can do, like, so it was like a hope story out of a big giant cock. I just saw this the other day that. <laughs> Uh, there was like some of the like viral meme pictures and shit. They the people that those pictures were of, they sold it as an NFT. You know what NFTs are? Yeah. They yeah. sold it as an NFT National for like football uh, treasury. Treasury. Yeah. Uh, so they like I can't remember all the pictures, but one of them sold them sold that fucking NFT for I want to say it was like four hundred grand or something like that. A lot of fucking money. Yeah. It, all it is is like. I don't really know exactly, but it's like it's like digital art and shit. 
And so, like, there's only one. Sounds like shit I have no idea about. Yeah, it's just there's only one. Like, people will draw something. I don't I don't really know what exactly. And there's just one of it. And then you pay for it and you get, like, the digital right or some shit to it. I don't really know. It's I think they're stupid, personally. Yeah. But. Huh. You know, uh, there's so many ways out there to make a shit ton of money using yeah. like the internet and social media. Yeah. And, and I'll never, wish I would have started sooner and I'll never make money at any of it. Cause I'm fucking so illiterate when it comes to that shit. Yeah. Hey, Hey, I'm Colby. Oh, this I'm is K love you. Bye. If oh. you are digging this shit, <laughs> I see sure, what you're doing there. Make sure you hit that smash button. Smash uh, that like button. We're trying to bring the best content to you guys. We can. The way we're going to do that is if you like, share, and get this thing moving around. Uh, Every little bit of support helps. Make sure you hit that fucking smash button. <laughs> yeah. Hit that smash button. Hit that smash heart, button. Heart it. Share it. Hashtag love it. Like it. Smash it. Don't leave it. Because then it won't go anywhere. Hashtag smash it. Dude, smash I'm, it. Uh, that's my new thing. Smash it. Hashtag smash it. Pretty sure that's already been done somewhere. Smash that like button. Also, this podcast is brought to you by Vagifil. Uh The only uh, fungal itch cream uh, for the female genital region that comes with its very own specialized applicator. They have been itching that scratch that you just can't get f- mm-hmm. since 1972. 72. Pick up Vagifil at any of your local retailers. Not available anywhere. Not available anywhere. <laughs> like setting up our podcast, man. Like I'm so glad you're my best friend. And you know how to do some of this stuff because. I hope you heard that Tempe and whoever else. Well, I, okay. To be let, let me, best let me, friend. let me, let me clarify. Right. Like, oh, I, here you go. You you're can have, fucking lose a best friend. You can have best friends. S- Plural. Whatever. I suppose. Are you crying? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, don't cry. I don't cry. Is that a tear? Did I see a tear? You'll never see a tear Dude. come out of my eye. Look. Okay. There's only... Here's the thing. Let me explain it this way. I have I have a few select isolated best friends. Yeah. I have a shit fuck load of <laughs> like regular friends. Good Obviously. Friends. Can't walk down the street without mentioning some guy you haven't fucked. <laughs> good point (laughs) uh i i would say i have like i have like (laughs) three best friends yeah and out of that, out of those three best friends, each one of them plays a specific role in mm-hmm. my life, and they have a position, right? So, none of them are over, above, or below the other. Mm-hmm. They're equal, and they hold a different kind of friendship that I feel I need in order to be like my best self, right? Like, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's hard to explain because like no, no, nobody else knows like who those three people are, but like each each one has their own specific things that make us click. Just the reason why. Mm. I, so I'll say like one of one of my best friends is is also my first cousin. He's by blood and definition my cousin. Mm -hmm. we grew up as brothers me and him have a bond that that'd be a good movie title we grew up as brothers we grew up as brother dude i should write a screen like a screenplay of that get going dude that could be a number one like platinum selling record but in movie form but in movie what is that called oscar (laughs) that's an (laughs) award you win yeah i don't know i should i should get on that yeah but yeah he's like He's he's just like that. I should put it this way: all three of my best friends. If I if I took them out of my lives, I could not replace them with anybody else. 
Mm -hmm. That's the better way to put it. Like you. If for some reason, like, you were not in my life. You wouldn't be able to have TVs. Or a podcast. podcast. I wouldn't be able to have a podcast. I wouldn't yeah. be able to figure out how to turn on your computer. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to fucking unfuck your phone for you? Exactly. Me. Yeah. Well, where were you today when my fucking visual voicemail wasn't working? I had to <laughs> call U.S. Cellular. Ugh. Which, by the way. Well, that's no. probably part of your problem which, right there. Which, by the way, they're a horseshit company. Yeah. So, Verizon, if you want to sponsor us, go ahead. I'll gladly. <laughs> I'm actually with T-Mobile. I had yeah. Verizon for years yeah. and years and years, but. I did. I did too. And I walked in there. I walked in there one day. I said, "Look, I saw an ad on TV about new customers and how cheap that shit was. I've been with you for fucking twelve years. Where's my goddamn discount?" And you know what they said? With who? Verizon. Yeah. You know what them fuckers said? Uh. Uh-uh. It's down the street at U.S. Cellular. Oh, really? I was like, y- how many fucking companies out there can treat their new customers? Way better than their returning customers and still make billions. Mm-hmm. That, I don't. Fuck them. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you're T, uh, T-Mobile and Verizon, you pretty much have like a split monopoly on. I mean, you don't. But really, who who else is there? That I mean, okay. you got your U.S. cellulars so and put, put it whatever. Way. But well, look, put it out there. Right. So what do you what do you pay for your cell phone every month? Uh, you have two, what? Two phones? Well, three. Oh, you have three phones? Yeah. So three phones, I'm guessing unlimited everything. Yeah. The normal plan that everybody fucking gets. Yeah. New phone. Yeah. Phone payment, or do they give you a phone? Mine is a transfer from Verizon. They paid for it. It's, this one's paid off. Okay, so. But Ashley and Bailey's phones are. You're paying for Paying them. for them, yeah. How much do you pay a month for three phones, unlimited everything? 150 Yeah, see, I'm getting fucking ass rammed. I have two phones. Unlimited everything. Still paying for this one. Still paying for Jaden's. I'm fuck. I think I'm paying like two hundred and six dollars a month. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, when I was with Verizon, this and you know was- what U.S. Cellular told me to do? What? Hey, when your contract's up, go over to Verizon and get the new fucking <laughs> the new customer discount. Oh really? Yeah. Try T-Mobile. When I was at Verizon by myself, I was Is paying. Service good? Yeah, dude, it's great. I, it was surprising, and I don't even have that five G fucking cancer in your face bullshit. Yeah, I'm not about that. I heard something about the Chinese were they're they're in the five G. Yeah, like like they have five G over there. <laughs> no, they have it here too now, yeah. but like it started over there. They were the first like the first ones to have know. it. That's conspiracy theory stuff. It is. I don't really need to get into that. Well, I mean, anyway, yeah, service is good. And the bills are cheaper because I was paying like one twenty something by myself, and then when me and Ashley got a, a plan together, it was like one thirty for both of our phones and and unlimited everything. And uh, I think it's Netflix. Netflix was included. Do you have so you, that saves me f- another fourteen fifteen bucks? Do you have hotspot? Right? Yeah, unlimited hotspot. Unlimited hotspot. Yeah, unlimited That's hotspot. Weird. Limited data. <clears throat> all that shit. How many of you guys feel like you're getting fucked just like I am? I we should. I would say about 98% of the pop we should, we should do something about that. Oh, we are right now. We're spreading awareness. Spreading awareness. Cell phone. Uh, what, what should we call it? Independence. Cell phone independence? They, yeah, that's, independence. That's trademarks. Make sure that. Uh, <laughs> tell your senators. Tell your senators. Yeah. Write, your, <laughs> write a letter uh, to your congressman. Yeah. It's uh, cell phone independence. Get Cell phone independence. We should just go back to home phones. Dude. Track phones. The only thing with cell cell phones are so nice when you're out and about and you yeah, remember the days though of stuff. like you just search the entire fucking neighborhood on your bike. You're yeah. hot, you're sweaty, you're tired as fuck. You walk in the door so depressed because you couldn't find like your best friend you were looking for. Mm-hmm. And as soon as you walk in, the phone rings, and you're like, "That's him!" And you run to the phone, you grab it, you're like, "Billy." <laughs> Uh, no, this is Tim with, uh, Verizon, Verizon wireless. <laughs> I'm calling to talk to your mom. Is your mom home? I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. You're not Billy. Hang up. Dude, those days were the best, man. They were the best. Oh, we used to crank call. I don't remember what exactly the number it was like one, nine hundred four, four, five, five, six, six, seven or some shit. And it would be like some call center in, in, uh, England. And we just 
call and just keep crank calling and we were stupid i don't even know what the Dude. stupid shit we were saying but my parents had been pissed when they got that phone bill i remember being like five six well uh, maybe i was no i had to be young it had to be like five or six yeah and i remember me and the my cousin i was just talking about who's my brother uh we grew up as brothers we grew up as brothers Dude, we fucking uh, we we're in his, in the basement and I remember grabbing the home phone, and me and him dialed nine one one. Only only fucking phone number that a five year old's gonna know, right? Yeah. Dialed nine one one, and there was some lady that answered. And I go, "You sound pretty. Are you pretty?" And we were like, "Shit, talking with the fucking dispatcher of nine one one." And they're like, "Where's your Where's your mom and dad?" And we're like, "They're upstairs." You sound really pretty, <laughs> and we just kept going, and and finally. We hear my uncle Kevin like yell from upstairs, and we're like, "Gotta go!" Bye. <laughs> Hung up. The cops were at the front door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, apparently, if you call nine one one, they show up. They do, dude. Even I, if even if you're telling the dispatcher she's pretty, even if you don't tell them where you're at, she don't buy that. I shit. was I was like young as fuck. I don't remember how old, but I was at my grandparents' house. It was like a big party. It was like a family reunion or some shit. And I decided to call 911, and they picked Jeez. up. And uh, I don't even remember what was said, but they said somebody was on the way or something like that. And I saw a cop coming down the road. It was middle of summer. I fucking ran into my, my parents' van and shut the doors, and I fucking hid in the van. And I was fucking <laughs> sweating my ass off, probably on the brink of death, because I didn't understand fucking dying in a car in Kids the summer. Were built different and then they went out and talked to my my parents stuff i don't even think they ever knew i called them how long do you think you were in that van dude like at least 30 minutes oh i was laying in there like watching out the windows how and shit just sweating think, my ass how long do you think a kid nowadays would last in a fucking van like that i imagine it'd be about the same time because it's you know dude i don't think so that kind of shit doesn't change i don't think a kid nowadays would be able to put up with it i think i think their skin's too soft you mean you think they would have left the van? Oh yeah, they would have been. Oh, like, I thought you meant fuck like, this. I'm out. Perished. Well, perished too. Like, I mean, perishing. I it would probably be the the like same us amount as of time. Kids but versus kids nowadays, dude, they don't they don't even know. Yeah, I remember opening those doors though. And, and, I was and like, our parents, Jesus Christ, this is the best feeling like, ever. Like our parents, like when they were kids, like I think we we would have fucking had a hard time. Yeah. Not to mention like our grandparents. Oh yeah. Fuck. I mean, I don't look at myself or you in any way, shape, or form as like a pussified fucking. <coughs> Get it out. Jesus. <coughs> Breathe, little one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think either one of us are like one of them people that grew up just coddled by any fucking means. I, I think. No. We, I think. No I mean. I, as a kid, I remember my parents would kick me out of the house on like a Saturday and it'd be like nine, nine, ten o'clock in the morning. They'd kick me out of the house and they'd be like, don't come back till the fucking streetlights come on and it's time for dinner. And I remember, dude, we survived off garden hoses Yeah, and maybe one of our friends' moms would come out with like freeze pops and like, mm -hmm. like half of bologna sandwich. You no, know, your parents were banging the whole time. Oh, dude. They were just having a freak sesh. I think back and I'm like, they had to have been. Just fucking getting it. I try to think about it. Like, what if I could do that today with my kids? But I definitely couldn't. They'd, dude, they'd wind up fucking. I can't get, I can't trying to get buy my something. fucking kids go outside. Yeah. Dude, oh, I, I yell at them. I'm like, go the fuck outside and play now. And they're like, what do I do? And I'm like, get out of the house. Go fucking play. What am I going to do? Climb a tree. You use, have a fucking trampoline. Use your imagination. I remember jumping on a trampoline oh. as a kid, and we didn't stop until somebody got fucking hurt. Yeah, usually. And then we were all scared that we were all in trouble. Yeah. Nowadays, they go, they jump for two seconds, they sit on it, and they pout. Yeah. I'm bored. Uh, I just want to be on my tablet. Yeah, yeah fucking uh. crazy. Yeah. My youngest is wants to do all the things. <clears throat> My, my oldest is definitely into those electronics and computers and all. So my, you know, Corbin is too. He's yeah. he's all about the electronics. And and be honest with you, I think that kid's on the. 
he's on the train trussle there to be like I don't know. I don't, I don't want to over brag it because I'm his dad and make people think that I'm like talking him up because he's my son. Steve Jobs. Like if I step back and look at him, I'm like, hmm. I bet you this kid could be a mix of like Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. I don't know if he'll do anything with it, but I I guarantee you, tech wise, he's going to be right in that same fucking realm of like figuring out what should be next. I don't know if he'll ever do anything with it, but. Kids, the kid's a whiz, man. Absolute. He's seven, and he watches YouTube videos on how to like com- uh, code computers and mm-hmm. shit that I have fucking no idea how to do. So it's like, I I'm always well, I walk in, and go, shut that shit off. Yeah, you know, I always feel like I grew up in like the best like era or whatever you want age group, whatever you want to call it, because we. We still played outside and all that, you know, everything like that. But we also had, like, that's when, like, computers and Nintendos and shit started to really become a thing, too. So we had, like, best of both worlds, I guess. Yeah. But we, we knew, like, our limits. Like, we'd play video games and shit, whatever. But then we'd go do shit outside. We thought it was, we, we thought it was more fun. At a certain point, like, you'd play long enough that you'd go, all right, I'm going to go ride my fucking bike. Yep. And you'd... you'd you go outside because that shit was way more fun. Yeah. Go play Ghost in the Graveyard or something. I remember shit. I remember being a little kid and playing so hard in the wintertime one time. I had to pee, right? And I'm all bundled up in my snow pants and this and that. I'm like, ah, I'll hold it. And I remember playing so fucking hard outside because I didn't want to go back to the house. I couldn't hold it any longer. I peed right in my fucking snow pants. Yeah. And guess what I did? Just kept on playing. I kept fucking playing. <laughs> I played so hard that day. Yep. Oh, man. I did that once. It was in the summer, and I had to shit right bad. And we were close to my friend Frank's house. So we tried to make it there. Couldn't Frank. make it there. Frank. 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 He's French. Is he? Yeah. He's from Frankfurt? He's from French. France. He's from France. He's from yeah. Frank. He's, he's a from, Frank. He's, he's Frankfurt. Anyway, we tried to make it at his house. Couldn't make it. Ended up just. Leaning on a tree and shitting in the woods and then taking my shirt off and using my shirt as my toilet paper and then just can keep on keeping on. You ran the rest of the day shirtless, didn't you? I had, well, I had two shirts. I think it was fall. So I had like, I was like double shirting, like not quite cold enough for. You had like a t-shirt and a long sleeve or. Something like that, yeah. like a wife beater. Were you like that kid that had a wife beater? I never wore wife beaters, no. Never. I hate those fucking things. It's crazy when you see a guy wearing a wife beater. Yeah, people still do it. As like a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that thing like, is generational. It just keeps going from. It's like, dude, take your ass back across eight mile. <laughs> eight mile. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anybody from Compton? Uh, no, oh. no, I don't. No. What you, you? You just did an Iowa open. What was that about? What's wrong? I thought. Well, I hit my phone, and so like the screen went kind of like fuzzy, but it looked like somebody was calling. I thought someone was calling me, but I didn't. I just. Oh, were they about to be on a fucking? Uh, about to be on podcast episode number one of K Love You Bye. Should we call somebody? Well, I don't know how it'll come through the microphones. Oh, oh my it will. God, we're not recording. I'm kidding. <laughs> you were sad for a second, weren't you? I was about to be like, okay. I'm done with this we, shit. We need to hire somebody <laughs> because <laughs> hire obviously somebody. <laughs> you can't figure it the fuck out. <laughs> you know for a fact I know nothing about that. Yeah. So it's all on you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I could YouTube a couple videos, but I'm also too old school to be like, mm, I'm going to YouTube my way through this bullshit. I'm older than you. Well, By a good six years. Oh, dude, that is a long fucking time. <sighs> Holy shit. Yeah, Who know. should we call? We should call somebody and be like, hey, you're on... Uh, Episode one of K Love You Bye. What do you got to say to our? Well, our I would fans? say it could be Myers. Would be a good one. Do you probably. think Tempe's all fucking dope? No, he just had back surgery and he's popping fucking pills. Do you think he'd be a good one to call and be like? I don't th- no, because you saw his video the other day promoting his uh, fishing stuff and he was. Dude, but it's pretty coherent. Yeah, that was in the middle of the day. I will say this: when I fucked up my arm, Should we, I, I didn't take my pills. Dude, Myers, Myers will fucking he'll clam up. He'll be like. Yeah, plus it's 9.30. Hi. He's been bedded for two hours. Who bit high? Hi, guys. 
I hope it goes good on the podcast. Hope, hope your podcast goes good. <laughs> I don't know why he sounds like this. But... You're gonna you're gonna have me on your your podcast as a, a guest, and I'm gonna turn guest out speaker. to be a turn out to be a regular. <laughs> <laughs> they say that. Yeah, I told Tempe though. I said uh, we'll do uh, we'll do talk fishing with uh, Tempe every now and again. We'll bring him on and have him give uh, give some tips. By the way, so in case people don't know, uh, Tempe is. He's a a childhood best friend best friend of mine. <laughs> you know two then. You know two. You childhood, know three actually. Childhood best friend of mine. I only have three. I only have three. So, yeah, but you weren't given names, but now everybody knows three because Yeah, you, so my cousin Ryan Tempe and Brandon. Yeah. Randon. Because we grew up as brothers. As brothers. That's one. Uh childhood friend and then but, me, the techie. Dude, dude, I told him. I was like, dude, we'll we'll do talk we'll do talk fishing with Tempe. Uh, and we'll do a couple episodes, you know, with, with Tempe as a, a guest and I'll have him, uh, give some insight on, I told him that too. I was like, you fishing. should come in. We'll promote your fucking fishing, uh, your guide service. Yeah. I mean, he, uh, I'm not sure who this is going to reach. He's one of those guys. Uh, you ever know? I do. I love Tempe to death. Absolutely love him to death. He is one of the, one of the best fucking fishermen I know. Uh, oh. The only Pardon. problem Tempe has when it comes to fishing is for some reason that motherfucker can pre-fish the shit out of anywhere. Get oh, yeah. it dialed in, locked and loaded, tournament's fucking over. Come tournament day or cur- tournament weekend, whatever, how long the tournament is, he can't fucking put it together. And I don't know why. Can't get it. Out. I don't think he knows why either. Something happens. It's always weather. Usually, weather changes, and he can't fucking put it together. And I wish I could control the weather so I could be like, I want the best fisherman I know to be able to fucking beat everybody. One of these days, he's gonna do it though. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna go to some big tournament on it, like fucking South Dakota, like Chamberlain or something, or some big ass walleye fucking tournament and. He's gonna just kill everybody. I'm back. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna go crazy and just saw that coming. <laughs> bite the head off the fish, old fucking Aussie style. I think you get DQ'd for that. It's right in the rules, most places. Oh, just no, no head biting no of head fish. No head biting of the fish. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it. No, most tournaments, it's right in the rules. Yeah. Ah, fucking cheap booze. Bro. It's cheap booze. I mean, Bush Light and Admiral Nelson. Uh, Bush Light. I. You know, we can say Bush Light, but I, I mean, I don't think we can advertise Bush Light. We can do whatever the fuck we want. We, I mean, we can. Why can't we advertise? I would love to advertise f- Bush Light. It's I free have free advertisements for them. It is free advertisements. You know, speaking of, uh, I would love, I would love to partner with Bush Light at yeah. some point. That'd be cool. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I don't even want free shit. I just want to partner with them because fucking Bush Light is the shit. I mean, the least they could do is a case of beer. Dude, every week if they or provide something. me with T-shirts like this that say "fucking father figure," <laughs> game over. I'm all yours, Bush Light. Come and take me. <laughs> yeah, do that. I'll keep paying for Bush Light. Everything's better with Bush Light. Yeah, it helps. I'm just gonna say that everything is better with Bush Light. Yeah, it really is. It really is. All right, dude. Well, we probably should get out of here, huh? Yeah. 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 I've had enough. Yeah, me too. Fuck you. Oh, oh fuck you too. Mm, great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm All Colby. Right. I'm Brandon. Kill it. Kill it. Bye. <laughs> Oh.
Fuck yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go, dude. Pull chocks. Pull chocks. <laughs>